in today's video we are going to go over the best money farming method that we currently have available in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. But before we get into today's video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you'd like to. Now, there are a few prereqs before going into this guide. You're going to have to have finished the three main storylines in your game. You're going to have to be in the post game. And you're also going to have to have rematched and beat all of the eight gym leaders. Now, once you've done this, Nimona will set up the Academy Ace tournament that you are going to be able to participate in at the Academy. The tournament itself will be made up of four rounds. You will challenge four different trainers. And if you beat them all, then you win the tournament and you get a bunch of rewards. You're going to get a bunch of money for this method which is primarily the reason why we're doing it and also the chance of some really rare item drops including the special pokeballs the beast ball the love ball and all the apricorn balls although they are a very small chance as well as some other high cost items the beauty about this method is that you can set yourself up into a continual loop where you are entering the tournament beating the tournament collecting all of the rewards and then coming back to the same spot that you started in before taking part in the tournament all by just pressing the button A. For this method, we are setting ourselves up with one Pokemon with one move to maximize our chances and set ourselves a loop up where you can do this, where if you have access to a turbo controller where it's continually just gonna hit that A button, you can go in AFK mode, leave your switch running and just collect item after item after item. Or if you haven't got a turbo controller with that option, you can still do this by just sitting and just mindlessly pressing A over and over and over again, where you're just gonna be able to acquire as much money as you want and hopefully some of these rarer item drops as well. Now this method can be combined to get experience as well so you can also put low level Pokemon in your party if you're doing this method to just level them up at the same time killing two birds with one stone. But like I say there are going to be a few things that we're going to have to do in game before we can just jump into using this continual loop method of farming money. Now just to give you a little bit of context these are the rewards that you're going to be able to access in your game. You're going to get random mint you're going to have a 30% chance of them dropping. Terra Shards, which you'll get three of at the end of every run, you'll get 15% chance of getting those. And then, as I've already mentioned, these special Pokeballs that you can get the Beast Ball, Dream Ball, Fast Ball, Friend Ball, Heavy Ball, Level Ball, Love Ball, Lure Ball, Moon Ball are amongst the drops that you can get. But like I said, they have a very low chance of being a reward at 0.1%. So if you do this enough, you are going to be able to acquire these special Pokeballs. But there is another method to getting these a lot easier in game, which we'll have an updated guide on very soon on the channel. So stay tuned for that. The other items are going to be PP up, rare candy, nugget, bottle cap, rare candy, nugget, PP up, big nugget, all of your vitamins as well, the PP max, rare candy and also gold bottle cap which comes in at a one percent chance for you to get now the way for us to do this i have to give a big shout out to salahatin over on twitter who actually posted this not too long ago and give us the perfect ideal optimal ev spread and pokemon to use in this method now you can see it is going to be all based around Chi Yu, which is one of the legendary Pokemon of Ruin in these games. So you're going to have to go out and catch that Pokemon. If you are looking at this guide and you don't already have yourself a Chi Wu legendary Pokemon, you can check out this guide right here that we've already got on the channel, which shows you exactly how to get it in your games very easily. We're going to have to attach it with the amulet coin and then an EV spread, which is quite specific of 136 HP EVs, 252 defense EVs, and 120 special attack EVs. Modest Nature is the choice of nature on this to you and gonna have the move Dog Pulse at the top of your party and nothing else really matters. Because you are hitting A and just spamming that button over and over and over again, no, no other move matters. So Dog Pulse at the top of your move list, that is all that you're gonna need. The EV spread is specifically catered to always take a close combat crit from a Terra fighting Hariyama. So that's why you've got that defense investment because obviously if you're doing this over and over and over again, then there is a chance that RNG will kind of screw you over at some points. Now I have tested a bunch of different Pokemon to come in and do this solo with. Sylveon was something that I really did think that you could do do this with but I kept finding after I left this running away I'd come back 
and Sylveon would be knocked out and I'd be in the continual loop at the Pokemon Center healing up my Sylveon over and over again. So the one Pokemon that I have found most consistency with and why I'm putting it in this guide today is Chiyu. It is going to be that new legendary Pokemon, dark and fire typing. The terror typing on it does not matter one little bit, but as you can see in game with the amulet coin, we'll go into detail with how you can get that in a moment. Dark Pulse is PP maxed out, so we've got 24 PP on that Dark Pulse. It's just worth doing if you've got the spare PPs, although not massively necessary. We've got a modest nature on it as well, so we have used the nature mint, and then we have got this EV spread that we've already mentioned as well, with that maxed out defense stat as well as 136 EVs in HP and 120 EVs in special attack, which will give you stats looking like this after you've hyper trained the stat stats that aren't perfect after catching it so you'll have to get some bottle caps as well and then make sure that you go to Montana Vera and use the hyper training NPC character to max out the IVs that you haven't got maxed out already you can ignore the attack IV of course because you're not using any physical type attacking moves so it's a bit redundant on this special attack and Pokemon the first thing that we're going to want to do is head over to Medali East and once we are here you're going to want to speak to the Pokemon League representative and these are dotted around every single Pokemon Center. This one here is the one that we're specifically going to have to speak to. Pokemon Rep. And this person will say that you've got to beat five trainers in this area. So once you've found those five trainers in the West Province Area 3 and defeated them, you want to return back to this area, speak to this League Rep chap, and he will give you a lovely amulet coin reward and that is the first step in all of this because that's going to double the money that you're going to get from every trainer that you beat in the ace academy tournament the next thing to do is we are going to want to head back to mesagoza naraja academy or whichever academy you've got in your game depending on the version that you've got and you're going to want to come inside the main school area and you're going to want to head to the desk where the ace tournament is set up there will be an npc character right on this desk here to the left and this is the academy ace tournament this is where you're going to want to have your character standing right here in front of this chap right here because this is where you'll spawn back in just save your game as well before you start this whole process and we will make a note of everything that we've got money wise and things like that so at the moment i've got no special pokeballs in my bag i've got just master ball that i got given and i've got just a bunch of regular pokeballs that you can go and buy around the region my money is 126 000, so i've not got much money either and we know we've only got one ability patch and i've got no extra kind of goody items i've got bamboo shoot and pretty feathers so what i'm going to do is set this method up uh, you can either do this method with just sitting here pressing A on over and over and over again. It'll rinse through and keep doing it. But if you have a turbo controller that you can use, you can set up the turbo mode on your controller and just let your game go AFK. What will happen when you finish the Ace Academy tournament is you will be transported back to this exact spot right now. So if your character is continually pressing A, you're going to enter in the tournament again and you're just going to keep rinsing, repeating this process process over and over again so I'm going to set this up like I say now and what we're going to do is come back to it in the morning or after leaving it overnight and see the results and see how good this money farming method will be so after leaving my game running for an entire night I set this up before I went to bed last night so over a course of a number of hours sleeping while I was doing nothing I left my controller just in turbo mode just at this point just repeating this process with the chi woo and I come back this morning and I have five million polka dollars so it is a very very good method just to do AFK and literally come back and just reap the benefits obviously if you've not got a turbo controller or an option of using a controller where you've got the ability just to kind of leave your switch in AFK mode then it will be a bit more difficult but you can still take advantage of this method if you're watching a movie you can sit there and just continually tap A you're not needing to do anything else might get a bit repetitive on the old thumbs but that is an option for you as well you don't necessarily need a turbo controller to take advantage of this 
this method but it is a bonus to have if you want to just go out leave your switch running with this method just collecting money for you now unfortunately i did not collect any of the special pokeballs at that 0.1 percent chance of appearing i did not get any of those but i did get a number of other items like rare candies i got a few of those and some vitamins as well as probably some terra shots because they have the bigger chance of being rewarded so basically all you want to do in this stage you can see from my time just coming back into the game now you can see all these notifications kind of catching up with the game because we've just been collecting so much money every time we beat an opponent but like i say what you want to do is when you come into this you are just going to speak to this npc character here and all it is is just continually mashing a button and like i say if you do have that turbo controller that you can set up then you can just allow it to just do the work for you while you get on and do other things and allow your game to just cycle through this tournament over and over and over again well, i'm just allowing it to do this right now and i can sit and i can watch something i can edit videos i can work on other things for the channel while i'm just getting all the resources i need in game so it's a really great method to do and you can do it over and over again you're going to get about 120,000 to 130,000 per run but like i say if you're leaving your console just going into afk mode you don't really need to worry about it too much because any any extra money that you're getting through this method is just a bonus if you're sitting there watching a movie with your switch and docked and you are just pressing a mindlessly you don't need to worry you've got very little chance of chi Wu being knocked out it's a very consistent pokemon and it's probably the most consistent pokemon that you can use for farming money and just getting access to this in your game because i feel like one of the big drawbacks with scarlet and violet is the ability to farm money easily but with this method it is very very easy especially if you've got that turbo controller so that is everything that i wanted to cover in today's video and although this isn't a method that everyone just starting out on the games can jump in and take advantage of it is something that eventually once you finish these games and get into the post game you're going to have access to be able to do whether or not you've got a turbo controller or not you've got the ability just to sit there and farm money through this method and the returns that you're going to get for the time putting into this tournament as well as the added bonuses of those rare item drops is probably the best method that we've got in these games using chi Wu as well it's a very consistent pokemon it's going to give you the result and you're not going to have to worry about coming back to your game if you've left it afk and been at the pokemon center just on that continual loop there you will come back to it and i would say 99.9 percent .9 of the time you're still going to be in the tournament running through it if you've left it afk so best pokemon to use for this method and it is a very good one just to acquire a lot of money very quickly and probably the best one like i say that we've got in these games if this video has been useful please drop a like subscribe to the channel for more pokemon scarlet and violet content and i will see you all in another video very soon so until then friends thanks for tuning in take care of yourselves and bye bye